Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. If awesome developer updates are your thing, make sure to subscribe. We believe that AI technologies are likely to be overwhelmingly useful and beneficial for humanity. But part of being a responsible steward of any new technology is thinking through potential challenges and how to best address any associated risks. So we published a technical paper, Concrete Problems in AI Safety, which was a collaboration among scientists at Google, OpenAI, Stanford, and UC Berkeley. The post has an overview and a link to the paper. And if that paper isn't enough, check out this list of our research being presented at the 2016 International Conference on Machine Learning. With Chrome 52, we're introducing the ability to make storage persistent. For more details and some code, check out the post. Also in Chrome 52, WebRTC uses a much more efficient and secure algorithm for certificate generation, ECDSA. And RTC certificates can now be stored with indexed DB. There's a post with details and code on this too. Building an authentication system is, well, bothersome to say the least. However, with Firebase authentication, you can outsource the entire thing to Firebase so that you can concentrate on building an, uh, great features for your app. Visit the post for details and examples. OK, so if you're watching this, you're probably already an amazing developer. But perhaps you have a friend who has a great idea for an app but doesn't know where to start and keeps bugging you to do it for them. Enter the Android Basics Nano Degree. This series of courses and services teaches your friend how to build simple Android apps, even if they have little or no programming experience. Also in the Getting Started category, we're excited to announce Google Cloud Platform Education grants for computer science faculty and students. Faculty in the US who teach courses in computer science or related subjects can apply for free credits for students to use across the full complement of Google Cloud Platform tools. And they can be used anytime during the 2016 to 2017 academic year. Mobiric saw about a 15% uplift in the number of paying users and about a 43% increase in average revenue per paying user after implementing a hybrid monetization model of in-app payments and ads for its app Zombie Hive. Learn more from the post linked below. Adults are 30% more likely to prefer online video platforms over TV when given a choice where to watch video content. This and other insights are now available in a study from Comscore, commissioned by Google and available at the link below. Check it out for six things to keep in mind as you develop your 2017 media plan. Have I mentioned recently that you should subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of the developer awesomeness happening at Google? I have. Okay, cool. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week.